Uh, both my parents are foreign born. Um, and my mother in particular always uh, was concerned about her accent and her writing and so forth. So from the time I started teaching, which was uh, in uh, high schools, I was very interested in helping people uh, with these kind of situations. In terms of being a volunteer, I will always feel that uh, you want to do something for society and you want to see something happening. Uh, it's very nice to write letters and send checks, but uh, if you put your own time in and uh, have interaction with other people, it's, it's quite satisfying. It, it does make you feel, uh, it, it makes you personally feel better and it makes you feel socially uh, integrated into a society um, in a way you can any other way. I would encourage people to uh, take part in this program, but I think they should understand that <coughs> they should not undertake it <coughs> as a duty or an obligation or that they're sacrificing something. Uh, it's a two-way street. Um, they're going to get as much out of it as a student will. And as a teacher, if you patronize people, you're not empowering them. You're, you're still telling them, you know, you're not, you're not quite good enough. Um, and one thing you also un understand when you begin to have this kind of discussion, um, these are people from other cultures. So you've got a lot to learn. One of the nice things with Emily is uh, she wants to be an American, but she doesn't want to be Americanized. So she wants to hold on to some of the Chinese things, hold on and grasp some of the American things. And that's an exciting process. And uh, as an American, or Ameri native born American, uh, I see that you know some things that are done in other countries that are done better than they are here. And that's something we, <laughs> we all should learn, uh, which doesn't say anything negative about the United States, but simply that uh, we don't have all the answers. We don't have all the best answers to all the big questions. <laughs>